Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Karen. This is part two of a video that I did earlier in the month where I decluttered lots of things in my house. Um, so the original plan for this was that myself, Robert and Ava were going to declutter at least two to three things every single day. Um, that wasn't how it really worked out. The very first video, Robert and Ava were actively participating and then, um, you know, I let it drop for a couple of days and then I kind of went on some splurges of decluttering near the end of the month. So it is the 1st of February right now, it's St. Bridget's Day, the 1st of February and um, I'm going to share with you the pile of stuff that I have. So you can see here, oops, I have like boxes, bins all this stuff back here there is two or three items that are from the previous video like this um tripod here on the pillow is there with some of the of Ava's toys on it but I won't share them and I won't include them I won't count them again so I'm going to count each individual item so instead of kind of showing you the way I did last time I'm just kind of going to show you the big things so first off we have these, these are the tops of some Ikea bins, there is four of them here, just four plastic tops. Um, I bought these years ago and they've never fit the bins that I've had, so it's time to let them go. Um, we have lots of painting um, stuff that used to be for Ava, so this is for like one year olds, this one is quite worn, this one has never been worn. So there's a couple of things I'm going to just put up on like a free cycle site, so um, yeah, some of this stuff will go donated in that manner. We have um, some old hangers that were randomly in a box. Um, not quite sure why, they're like H3 to 4. This bag here that I'm at, I'm gonna lift it up. Ooh, it's gonna fall. This bag here is full of rubbish. Like old pieces of like craft materials, like you know, cut offs of it, old colouring books that have been used, dried out markers, dried out glitter glue, um, that sort of stuff. As I said, these hangers, um, what else? Yeah, like so dried out markers, um, stickers that don't stick anymore. Um, and some old cards. I, I went into a phase where I was keeping every single card, whether it was a birthday card, anniversaries, new home, Mother's Day, whatever it was, and I was keeping them all. And then I've just decided there while I was doing that just to keep the ones that I really want to. Um, and then, you know, just get rid of the rest of them because there is no point in having it all. Um, so that is a whole lot of stuff in there that I'm not excited to count. <laughs> um, we have some, again, just broken bags, old boxes, um, bags with some rubbish in it. So then we have, um, this is old dried out face paint, um, which is unfortunate. This is something that I obviously got when Ava was smaller, an introduction to active play for zero to three year olds. Don't need that anymore because she's five now. Um, let me see, let me put these down. Oh my god guys right so moving on to some of the stuff back here um just to get these out or not we have these um kind of foot shoe holders shoe racks is that what they're called so i had loads of these in our apartment um, because we really needed them but now with that we're in this house we have that unit that's down at the bottom of the stairs so we don't really need these anymore so i think i'm going to just put again up on a free site um free cycle facebook group and just if anybody wants to come collect them they can have them because i really am not into selling things it never works out it causes too much drama and anxiety <laughs> I don't have time for that. It's just best enough to give to somebody for free. In this bag here, we have just a whole load of Ava's clothes that um, no longer fit her. So we have jumpers, underwear, socks, um, t-shirts, 
so many stuff like bottoms um so many things in there some of it is good so i'm going to sort that out and see if any of the charity shops want it again maybe put it up on that free site i'm only going to keep stuff up there for a couple of days because this is sitting in my office area and i do want to you know <laughs> clean it up so having a whole pile of stuff in here is not going to work out so today the rubbish is going to get put down into the bins or it's going to be recycled um, and then this stuff is going to go up I'm going to take pictures of it it's going to go up on that free cycle site I've been talking about or it's going to go to a recycle bin or a charge shop and um, just just to get rid of it to be honest so that's a whole bag of a big black bag of Ava's clothes so here in this small bag we have well this is from underneath the stairs so underneath the stairs there is um there was cleaning products there was old jackets that robert had there was like lights that don't work um there was some empty kind of bottle or nearly empty bottles um that sort of stuff is in here so just again stuff that we don't need that we haven't used in a very very long time um this bag here again there's some clothes on the top of it that are ava's and um, but again we have old like baking soda um we have some modems uh let me just show you we have some old modems that we just don't use now because obviously we're our internet provider they send you new ones every single time you change the provider so we have first of all this like storage step that i would have used in our old apartment again we have this vodafone broadband modem um so i think i can bring that back to the shop also this is robert's old motorcycle helmet um it's well worn and the pattern on the inside isn't um isn't good anymore he bought he got a new one um, and he's just been holding on to this so it's just time to let this go as i said the pattern on the inside isn't safe anymore um because you know that's a general thing with with safety around motorcycle helmets and um, so unfortunately we can't really donate this to anybody and um, again we have another this is an air broadband modem um so a couple of those things um these bits here um are the toys that we would have saw last time from ava um over here we have a pair of leggings for mine that have holes in them we have more um duvet covers and stuff some are ava's some are mine and robert's we have some old um towels that we no longer use um this is from our bedroom so we have some um nightwear types lots of just like papers it seems i keep i keep a lot of papers then we also have this um is a set of bat and shower gel um that we got from molten brown um as a gift and we just don't use it in fact i did start to use it as like a hand wash um so i may keep this after all uh, again just kind of old products that are gone out of date that we just no longer use um so that's from like my, my bathroom or the ensuite bathroom is what i say my bathroom is just a whole load of rubbish basically again more duvets so if you put these back and i'll show you inside the last couple of bins so don't mind the mess out of, out of there i just moved some stuff out there um while i was doing it but basically um we have this blue bin now the bin isn't going to get thrown out i actually want to keep this bin um but we have some old boxes or whatever in here um besides from this instruction manual i have lots of these like vacuum storage bags like so so many and we just don't use these now um so again this is going to be something that goes up on that free cycle site because um i have no use for them and at the bottom of it here you'll be able to see we have some boxes of like jelly world slime um and yeah i mean we are not fans of slime the last time we used slime on ava she broke out in an extreme um eczema flare so uh we have told her that that is gone 
so she doesn't know that that's there. And then this final box, it's a big, oh God, it's actually quite heavy. It's a big box here. Um, and it has loads of like scrapbooking supplies, I would call them. Um, so like different types of paper, um, different types of stickers that I would have bought like so, so many years ago. Um, then we have these smash books. I think they're called smash um where you would you know do some scrapbooking inside of it um so two of those i would have i think i bought these in america yeah in marshall's four dollars each um woo, we have just a whole bunch of crafting things that i just don't use this is one of those crafting pouches um you know to separate out all of your tools and your bits and your pieces now there was a girl in the comments last time um that has been following me for a long long time and she said that she would be she'd be interested if i was getting rid of any of them it's here for you if you want um not quite sure how we're going to get it to you it is extremely heavy so um we'll have to consider that but uh yeah that's it. So now I have the daunting task of counting each individual item. And I don't know if I want to do that. Some of them is just a whole lot of rubbish. So I think what I'm going to do is just count the bigger, bulkier items that just don't take very much time and leave the rubbish as rubbish. Um, but as you can see, there is a lot going out on this part. I would love to hear how you guys have got on. Leave it down in the comments. A lot of you had said in my first video that you were going to join along and um, come along and do this task with me. So let me know. Also let me know if your families did help out um, because as I said at the start, it is a good learning opportunity. Ava absolutely hated it and it was like I was pulling teeth out of her head. <laughs> Um, which is probably another reason why I slacked, I laxed, slacked off on it. Um, but okay, I'll be back with the amount that I have. Okay, so I counted roughly and there is more than 310 items here. Um, a lot of it is bitty stuff so I just didn't bother doing that the same with socks and underwear. I didn't really count that. Um, accurately but um, 310 plus items is amazing because last time we had uh, like I think more than 93 um, but probably into the 100 like uh, 120 110 you know so over really nearly like 500 items 450 items and um, for sure is gone this month which is a lot of stuff considering we didn't think we had a lot of stuff to get rid of um, a lot of it is clothes because, especially Ava's clothes because she just grows out of them so quickly. Um, so yeah, it's absolutely amazing. It feels great that I can look in certain places and be like, okay, there's nothing in there I need to get rid of. But there is lots of areas still that need to be decluttered, mainly being the bedrooms, like our bedroom and Ava's bedroom. Um, our clothes, Ava's toys, like that sort of stuff, you know. Um, also out in the shed outside, uh, Robert has a lot of stuff out there. Um, and I don't know what that is, but also more inside this room. I did our craft wardrobe as I, I was calling it. Um, but there is still a lot of things around here that um, it's just not used um, and hasn't been used. So... That's it guys, that is my declutter challenge for January over. I will be continuing with it, with it in, I will be continuing this in February um, and I'll probably do a video again at the end of the month to just, just give you an update. So um, I do encourage everybody to have a look around their house, even if it's one thing per day, it's one less thing that's gonna be in your house, you know? Um, and then when I do these videos, you can give me updates or you can update me on my Facebook or my Instagram um, whenever you want to. Um, so that is it guys. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video. I really do hope that you have enjoyed it. Again, let me know in the comments how you got it on. How many items have you got rid of and how do you feel about it? Um, because looking at this pile of stuff, I'm dreading getting rid of it. <laughs> 
but I would be so happy when it's not there anymore and it's not in our house anymore because we don't need it we don't use it and we haven't in a long time thanks guys I will talk to you in the next video bye